Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and it is currently like 3 a.m. in the morning when I'm recording this, so if I'm talking a little bit quieter than normal, that is why. I actually already recorded this once and then realized that my mic was completely screwed up, so I'm having to re-record it. Uh, but basically, the update just came out for PC and I believe consoles as well. It all dropped at the same time, which is really good. We got a simultaneous drop. But the uh, the first thing that they're adding with this update is uh, Apex Connect with a uh, current which uh, currently I'm not actually able to log into for some reason it says that my email's already registered to this account or a different email is and uh, for some reason it's just not letting me create one. However, I was able to kind of see a little bit about it, so it's going to be really cool. It's basically going to be a hub per se where you can manage all of your Avalanche Studios games, which is pretty sweet. So if you play multiple ones like Gen Zero, Call of the Wild and stuff like that, you will be able to kind of like have a, uh, I guess like a global friends list between all those games, which is pretty cool. Uh, you're also going to get a sign up reward for creating an Apex Connect account where you'll get three ghillie suits. And I'll actually put those up right now because it is really awesome looking. Uh, once I actually get a hold of these, I will take a look at them in game for you guys. But as of now, I can't connect my account for some reason. So once support resolves that, then we'll kind of look at that. But this is a huge, huge thing for the game because it also says that you will be able to get unique game features and also never miss an update. And what they mean by never miss an update is that you will be able to actually receive updates through this uh, launcher or hub or whatever you want to call it and it's going to be really good for the game which is a uh, super awesome because this will make it so you won't actually have to go to something like discord or twitter in order to get your information for call of the wild updates it's actually going to go straight to you through the game which is really cool now the next thing that we're going to go over is probably the biggest news out of all and that is the fact that we have a brand new great one and as of now the biggest hint that we have is that we can find it on either Tiawaroa or Hirschfelden. Now I don't actually know what this great one is. I knew that a great one was going to be coming to the game but I have no clue what the great one is actually going to be so I'm excited to see. I'm putting my money on Red Deer just because that's the most wanted thing out of all the different species from what I've seen based off of just stuff that you guys have said but a lot of people seem to want Fallow Deer as well so it could be either of those and you never know maybe they'll throw us for a loop and give us a European rabbit. I doubt it but it's always a possibility. So let's look at improvements first. To avoid confusion with certain key actions while having the hunting dog by your side, PC keybinds now indicate with a long when a long press is needed in the settings menu. Um, we've removed the mission advance waiting time for the mission Y Tambi and Hermano after interacting with the diary in Rancho Del Arroyo. So that's a good fix right there. A lot of people were stuck on that mission because of that bug. We've reduced the amount of shotgun score required to purchase 12 gauge birdshot ammo. That's pretty huge for people that are just getting into the game uh, because it does take a little while to get a 12 gauge birdshot and it honestly doesn't make sense. It, it should have been, in my opinion, the starting ammo, but for some reason you do have to unlock it, but I'm glad they lowered the uh, shotgun score required. Players have the option to customize the spotting outline color for animals spotted by users or by other users in multiplayer sessions. That is going to be pretty cool as well. This update will reset some animal populations. This includes but is not limited to the collared peccary, Rio Grande turkey, ring-necked pheasant. Uh, now we get on to the bug fixes. Being able to shoot the Kuso in A mode. Okay, so that's really good because before it wouldn't shoot unless you clicked R to reload. So that's nice. Uh, particle effects are fixed. Thank you, EW. That is a massive change right there. Because before the particle effects just were not showing up above tracks, which was obviously an issue. Um, trophy Lodge stability adjustments and fixes, so it looks like uh, they won't crash in multiplayer Trophy Lodge games anymore. Uh, additional updates, Mexican Bobcats are no longer stuck in an animation when at drinking zones. That's another huge fix. I'm hoping that will also be pushed over to the Lynx as well since they share the same animations. Your dog will not continue to growl where, when near a freshly shot animal. Turkeys and pheasants will not land on or below water when flying across lakes. Uh, fix the issue where a player could continue to fire even after running out of ammo for weapons like the 4570, uh, 3030, and 357. The bug where your character's hands appeared during a death animation while riding an ATV and after getting damage from cacti has been fixed. Ammunition now shows up in your inventory quick access menu as designed after running out and purchasing more. Color Factory Codex entry now displays correct recommended ammo type. 
Scent Eliminator and First Aid Kit now show their correct icons in the player HUD when equipped. Various crash fixes in multiplayer. So that is all awesome fixes. I'm hoping that the FPS will be better as well. I'm going to jump into the game and uh, probably later today I'll let you guys know if that is fixed as well. But that's going to be it for this video. This was just a quick one to kind of give you guys the rundown on what's being added with this update. And yeah, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a future video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys are enjoying this update so far and also what you're most excited for. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!